Okay, we just lit this. Got the clock back there. Take about a minute to get the jet. Then we're gonna put our cup on here. This is technically it is a stove. To me, it's a burner, but you can put your cup on there. That's the whole idea of this. Once it starts coming out of the jets, you can put your cup on there. Have a cup and a half of water, approximately. Not doing no big uh, scientific test there. I just want to show what it looks like, and then we'll show it in the dark, too. Sometimes it'll take more than a minute. Sometimes you might have to take it back off, but might add a little water on the bottom of the cup there. Shouldn't do that because that makes steam inside of there, but It's only been about a minute. Turn it so we can kind of see it a little better. There we go. The desk is so cluttered that this is my Coleman cup. Some people don't like to hand a lot of it on it, but this is why I make my hot cocoa and instant coffee in. If I was out camping, I probably wouldn't have a handle. That's the reflection on the cake pan there. My Venom is a better stove. It has better flame pattern than this, but this will work. So yeah, I do think those seafoam cans had some lining stuff in there and that's what that gooey stuff was like a varnish or something I already forgot where the clock was when I started but that don't matter because it'll be on the film It's just right for my Coleman cup. As long as my flames don't go... I don't want my flames to go up the side. I like them to stay right at the bottom. So a Baker cup would even be better. You really don't want your flames going up the side. You want to have it concentrated on the bottom. This is cold water right out of the tap. It is only about 42 degrees in the shed here. So... It's chilly out, just like you use outside on a chilly night, 42 degrees, 10 degrees above freezing. I'm going to let this run till it's out. That's one ounce of fuel. The uh, methyl alcohol. You see it here. This cheap brand. Fifty cents a bottle. I said I wish I'd bought more. I didn't want to buy too much because it was not that good of a brand. Have a few small bubbles. Kind of hard to see the water level right there. It's not quite a cup and a half. I wish I would have put exactly a cup and a half. I'm just used to that's how much I heat up so I can add some cold water to it. 
haven't used this cup for a while. I've been heating up water. I haven't been out here in the shop making cocoa or coffee. I'm trying to get the clock in there so it's Also, I could have put a lid on top, but I'm doing it without a lid just to see how good it does. I've already forgotten where the clock was, at least it's on the film here. That's why I still call it film. There's a few small bubbles breaking the surface. So it's chilly out here, 42 degrees. These things being outside tomorrow on a cold night. I hope it gets hot before we run out of fuel. It's never failed me yet on my Venom one. I may make a film of that too. Probably the most efficient way, or the fastest way, but as long as it gets the job done, I'm that patient even if it takes 10 minutes to get a hot cup of coffee in the middle of nowhere. You can carry your alcohol or a little bottle with you. You can carry the actual bottle. I use a measuring glass. Stick it in front of the camera here real quick. I use this. But you can carry a bottle and mark it off with a Sharpie where each ounce is. That's what I use. You can find them at Walmart places. Call that a pretty good bubble. Went on to stick my finger in it. We're gonna let it go till it runs out. And move our 
clock so we can see a little better here. I have to readjust the light just a little bit. That's a pretty big boil in there. You probably could get it done with a half ounce, but if you carry a can with you, you can smother it. You can also set it on a lid. Use your safety lid opener, carry your lid, set that burner still down on the lid so when you put it down it's airtight. Because the bottom doesn't get too hot. I wouldn't recommend setting it on a counter or anywhere you might want to damage. But I have moved when I'm done and felt the bottom of the pan. Because I'm not worried about the desk. Well, we're going to call that good. It's finally dying down. It's not going to last much longer. That's it. Thanks for watching.